Hey YouTube, Freedom for Kaz here. Hey everyone, how you doing? Hey, I've been gone for a couple of days. I actually took the weekend off. I took some time to get away. I was uh, <clears throat> out of town for a while here. And um, I just needed to take a break. You know, sometimes you just got to take a break. And, and I understand it was right during some crises, like the Japan crisis going on, and now the Libya war that's going on. But... I just want to get right back to it. It's um, it's been several days since I made a video, but uh, I've been answering a lot of emails, a lot of questions, and I appreciate all the comments from everybody. So, just gonna try and get right back to it, get back into the mix of things. And here it is, uh, a couple links that I want to talk about, and a little clip at the end of the, my video here. So please uh, watch to the end. Um. The update on the uh, Fukushima nuclear disaster power plant here is that they finally acknowledge the fact that the radiation is going to affect the marine life. Now, I've been saying that all along that the radiation is going to get into the water and it's going to cause a lot of problems. It's going to cause damage to the animals and that is all the animals, not just some in particular, but all of the animals. Um... Squids, octopuses, the salmon, the crabs, the lobsters, uh, every species is going to be affected. And the problem with that is that that food is going to get into the human food chain. And I don't know if there's going to be a way they're going to be able to, de to detect that radiation of what's in the food. But uh, the thing that bothers me the most is that Japan's agency is going to be the only agency that's going to be conducting the tests. Now, I can tell you right off from the get-go, I don't like that. You know, I think whoever does it, they're going to manipulate the answers anyway. I don't think we're ever going to get the straight truth about what's going on. And, you know, even what's going on on land, even as to what's going on in the sea, uh, with the sea animals and things like that. But they do say in the story here, and the link will be underneath, that it is going to affect marine life. Now again, how much? In the immediate area, I'd say anywhere from, I don't know, 200 miles from shore of Japan because that's the way the radiation, most of the radiation was blowing. I'd say anywhere from 200 miles out, all those animals are gonna be greatly affected and then all the other animals that are in the area are gonna be somewhat affected. So. It's uh, it's hard to say just exactly what's going to happen, but I also want to touch on this here is that uh, Japan, it, it, it just came out, and this article was uh, made today, the 22nd, uh, at uh, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, so just about two hours ago. Apparently, with the nuclear reactor plants in Japan, there was never a public emergency plan established. If anything like this were to happen, uh, they just didn't have one. It just didn't exist. There was no emergency evacuation plan. There was no escape route plan. There was no planning by any part of the government or even the nuclear plants themselves. There was never any planning as to how to evacuate, where you should go for safety reasons, and so on and so forth. Again, this link will be underneath. Um, and again, people, I, I just want to say that this nuclear problem that they're having in Japan isn't nowhere near being over. I mean, just because the war with Libya has kind of taken front and center doesn't mean that this problem is going away anytime soon. Um you look at the uh, Chernobyl incident, and uh, you know I've been doing a little bit of research on that, and there seems to be some new problems with the Chernobyl situation. So, again, I'm going to be continuing on with this for a while here, probably for the next two weeks at least, three weeks at least. Um, and if any of you folks want to join me in the research, you're more than welcome to. Uh, I appreciate all the new subscribers. I really do. That That means a lot to me been getting a lot of great comments from everybody and I haven't responded to everyone in return um, I, I just been 
getting overwhelmed with the amount of response and the amount of, of acknowledgement for the work that I've been doing. Um, I, I want to thank you for watching my videos and I want to thank you for subscribing and friending me as well. I have uh, friended back and subscribed to some of the folks who have uh, subscribed to me. So I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. I'm working as hard as I possibly can. And like I said, I just I took the weekend off and um, just needed to take a break from it for a little while there. But also, I'm, I'm going to leave you with a couple of other links. Um, that are uh, maps of the radiation and how the radiation is working and how it's flowing. So look for those links as well. Um, other than that, uh, watch the clip at the end of the video here. I hope you uh, are having a good week this week. Um, it's Tuesday, March 22nd. And like I said, this is far from being done. Japan has resumed its efforts to solve the atomic crisis at the Fukushima nuclear plant following emissions of smoke. Workers at the facility are trying to restore electricity and cool down the troubled reactors. RT's Igor Ogorodnev is following events there. Engineers have been able to resume their efforts to connect power to all the reactors at the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Yesterday, these efforts had to be stopped after smoke started billowing out of two of the reactors. As soon as the power is reconnected, several more steps will have to be taken. But eventually, the engineers are hoping that the water cooling systems will be able to be reactivated. Otherwise, the focus has shifted onto the impact of the radiation which has already been released. The authorities are saying that in some of the areas around the plant, the radiation levels are 1,600 times higher than they, they should be normally. Villagers in nearby settlements have been told not to drink their tap water because it contains possible radioactive elements. Instead, they're being given bottled water. Uh, there's also suspicion that some of the marine life around the plant on the coast has been uh, poisoned as well and that may uh, pose some sort of risk to the fisheries. We've also had scares over the weekend and afterwards that uh, some of the agricultural produce from that area may be contaminated as well. Now the authorities are saying that the levels are safe but of course there's still a level of anxiety amongst the Japanese people and even people further abroad as to the possible risks of radiation. Of course, there is still the impact of the earthquake and the tsunami which has recently struck Japan. The police are saying that 9,000 people have been confirmed as dead, more than 12,000 as missing. 300,000 or more than that remain homeless. And of course, the number of the confirmed dead is likely to grow over the next few weeks.